Hello friends, today's book comes from a series, Little People, Big Dreams, and today's book is called Martin Luther King Jr., written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vigara. Martin Luther King Jr. Little Martin was a spiritual boy from Atlanta who came from a long line of preachers. His dad was a preacher, his uncle was a preacher, his grandfather was a preacher. Maybe he become a great preacher too. One day, a friend invited him over to play. Martin was shocked when he was asked to leave because he was black. That day, he realized something terrible was going on. This terrible thing was called segregation. It meant that public places like restaurants and buses had separate spaces for black and white people. Martin and his friends were sent to different schools. Martin believed that one shouldn't remain silent or accept something that is wrong. He promised himself that when he grew up, he'd fight injustice with the most powerful weapon of all, words. Martin studied at universities in Georgia, Pennsylvania, and Massachusetts, where he read about Gandhi, the man who had improved the lives of millions of Indians with peaceful methods of protest. When he finished his studies, Martin moved to Alabama and became the pastor of a church in Montgomery. Every Sunday from his pulpit, he encouraged his congregation to speak up about things that matter. One evening, a woman named Rosa was arrested for refusing to give up her seat to a white man on a bus. Martin asked the people in his community not to take the bus again until the law was changed. Many citizens were inspired by Rosa's story and Martin's words. Suddenly, buses were almost empty. They stayed empty for more than a year until segregation on Montgomery's buses finally ended. It was the first major civil rights action in America, but not the last. Martin encouraged people all over the country to stand up for their rights and join in with the peaceful protest. They were often attacked and Martin was arrested 29 times, but he and his followers never fought back with force. He knew that hate can't drive out hate. Only love can. Martin helped to organize a protest march on Washington where he gave a life-changing speech. It began with four simple yet powerful words, I have a dream. The next year, Martin became the youngest person to win the Nobel Peace Prize. His words of hope, peace, and injustice called a nation to change its laws and make them equal for everyone. And if you listen to your heart, you can still hear little Martin asking you to keep his dream alive. A dream of a world where we are judged by our character, not by the color of our skin. Martin Luther King Jr., 1953, 1956, 1963, and 1965. The end. That was a great story. Hello friends, today's read will be Martin's Dream by Jane Kurtz and illustrated by Amy June Bates. Martin's Dream. Martin Luther King had a heart so bold and strong. He came one day with things to say to Washington DC in 1963. 200 thousand people came together on that day. By bus on skates from many states, they came in like a stream, looking for a dream. They looked up at the face of the man who once declared in 1863, all slaves must be free. But a law is just a start. What can change a heart? Martin Luther King stood tall before them all. He said when it was time to vote or play or work or ride, no one should be outside. The color of our skin must not push us out or in. Martin Luther King almost sang his words that day. His voice rang out, almost a shout. When things are fair everywhere, then people will be free. We will have liberty. 
Martin Luther King declared that things can change. Children can stand hand in hand and we should all be able to sit at the same table. Martin Luther King had a dream so strong and clear, some went away, changed that day. His words were bold and true. His words could change us too. In all of our hearts, let freedom ring when we remember Dr. King. And what a good story. Yay! Until next time, friends. Happy reading. Hello, friends. Today's story is The Story of Martin Luther King Jr. Written by Johnny Ray Moore. Let's get started, friends. Every January, we celebrate the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. Do you know why we remember him? I have a dream. Martin was born in 1929 in Atlanta, Georgia. His father was a preacher. His mother was a school teacher. Martin liked to go to school. He always did more than his teachers asked him to do. Martin's school was old. It needed a lot of fixing. The school for the white children was new. Martin and his mom and dad liked to eat out, but some restaurants would not serve them. Hmm. Martin could not drink from all water fountains. He had to find one with a sign that read colored. This made Martin angry. He wanted to go to the best school. He wanted to eat at any restaurant and he wanted to drink from any water fountain. When Martin grew up, he became a preacher. One day he spoke to more than 200,000 people. Martin said, I have a dream that my four little children will not be judged by the color of their skin. Martin made his dream come true. Now we all can eat in any restaurant. Drink from any water fountain, go to any school. And dream our dreams, just like Martin Luther King Jr. Meet Martin Luther King Jr., the celebrated civil rights leader. With this simple book, little leaders will learn to discover who Martin was, how he excelled in school, became a minister, and worked to end segregation in America. The end, friends. What an awesome, awesome, awesome story. But until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy reading, friends.